Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Shop My Stash Weekly Shop My Stash. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe. We are doing Shop My Stash videos every week and every so often I do a review, maybe a short, things like that. So if you're interested in that, check this channel out. Now let's talk about what I used last week and how I like them and what we're going to go for uh next week if we're gonna keep anything from here or not for next week so i'm gonna want to start with this foundation i cannot believe how much i can fall in love with this foundation over and over and over again this is such a beautiful one always looks amazing on my skin always lasts really pretty and beautiful on my skin i just i'm obsessed with this foundation this is too faced born this way and then i applied this oil primer which was really nice actually i wasn't expecting it to look that great but they were really nice together and then i tried this tower 28 spf 30 sunny days new it's like a sunscreen tint type of thing i still call it a foundation but um this one it's nice but it does not last on your face all day i did set it with powder it doesn't have a lot of coverage so it's very natural i would say this is for like maybe a three four hour wear it's nothing that you can put under like eight hour work shift or anything like that this is more like oh i want to go out for a minute you know to do some errands and i just want something super simple on my face so that's that for okay and now let me talk a little bit about the powder this is an amazing powder i love 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 this powder from nyx this is can't stop won't stop so beautiful in the skin so blurring and also mattifying but not mattifying in an aspect that is gonna look you're gonna look like that no this is really pretty i absolutely love how this looks and every time i tried it with any type of foundation always looked amazing on me so i really recommend this one and then i have the charlotte tilbury blush which i absolutely love this is in ecstasy very good and then i have the abh uh bronzer in cappuccino love this as well the Ofra one amazing oh my god it looks so good on top of this uh uh fenty beauty brightening uh fix uh it looked so good together i could not believe it like my eyes looked amazing with these two together i didn't even have to put this one these two were enough and I cannot believe how good they look. So I'm going to keep this one in, but let me take these things out. So we're going to take these out. We're going to take this one out as well. Um, I'm going to take the powder out because I want to try something else. I'm going to take the bronzer out. Also, I'm going to take the blush from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. So this one is going to stay in because I want those that look still uh, throughout the next week. But I'm going to try to find a different concealer. So I'm going to take this one out as well. And then... Um, the lipsticks were okay. Um, I haven't worn that much. I think I wore this one twice and this one once. And I wore this one a lot, which is also going to stay. This is the uh, Dior, um, what's it called? The Lip Glow in 01. And I'm going to keep that because it's so good on the lips. Very nourishing. Um, I had this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this a little bit more. This is glow, the Glowgasm from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. It is nice. I like it. So I'm going to keep it. Um, the lipsticks, I'm going to take them out. They're okay. Um, nothing bad to say about them. I really enjoyed them. But I did like this one a little bit more. And I applied with the liner and then that. And I just wore that all day. You know what I mean? And the lip liner was from Wayne Goss. I'm going to take this one out as well. Now, I did have this blush from uh, um, Tarte in Breezy. I haven't used it that much, but when I used it, I really did enjoy it. So I'm going to take this one out as well. 
the mascaras are gonna stay the same the one from dior yeah you're gonna see a lot of uh, things over here because they always something spills in my drawers every week um okay so then i have the two brow products from nyx you already know i like these i'm gonna keep them i i bought this again this is the pencil and this is the lift and snatch brow pen so i bought the the pencil again because i like it in combination with that um I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the KKW. Actually, it, you know what? I'm going to keep it here for now. Um, This one from Iconic London. I liked it. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I like this one. It, it's not something that you're going to see a lot, but it still gives a very beautiful look to your um, overall makeup look. So I totally recommend these. I was, I'm surprised because when I first tried it, I didn't like it that much. But when I tried it again now, this week, it was really nice. I don't know. Maybe it was a foundation that made it look so nice. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take this one out as well. And then I created an eye look with this one. Just this liner. So good. Guys, this is such a good liner and it's very, very cheap. It's from hard candy um and i found it from i found it at uh walmart this is such a good liner you need to try this seriously you need to try this i'm gonna put a picture up so you can see how it looked but yeah this is very good and then i have the blink one i'm gonna take this one out as well the primer from milani was very nice i really did enjoy it i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it for next week this one was nice again from milani make it last uh matte finish it didn't make it look too uh ugly or anything like that made my makeup last i would not say make my makeup last longer than usual but it made my makeup last you know what i mean so i think i'm gonna take this one out as well and then the two eyeshadow palettes uh if you watch my last video you know i had the olive sorry he x dose of color and of course i had the pat mcgrath one oh my god the pat mcgrath one i played so much with so 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 much with I created some beautiful looks with this one and i have to say i really love it <laughs> now that i played so much with it i and everything i tried every color in it let me open it okay so here they are so this is how this one looks like i absolutely love love it i love the green so beautiful i created a look with that the pink i love the the gold i love this one this one there's so many colors in here that i love it's true i still love the uh uh the other one the that is 125 a little bit more than this one but this one is a beautiful eyeshadow palette as well and then i went with this one i love sorry he I think I'm ready to let this one go. Um, I had it for like, I think a year and a half or maybe two. I'm not sure. But when I use this one, you know, when you put this one and co uh, comparing with this one, this one is nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's funny because you can't compare them, right? But I think I'm ready to let this one go because I have all the colors that I have in here. I have them in here already. So I don't need this so i'm gonna put this one in an area where i'm gonna keep the um eyeshadow palettes that i think i'm gonna discard okay and now let's go shopping let's start with foundations i honestly don't know what foundation i want to try this week um i was thinking charlotte tilbury but then i was like nah, i don't know i'm not sure about that one um maybe i should go with the found sealer let's try the found sealer again i'm gonna give it a try this week so we'll do the found sealer from tarte okay now for powders <clears throat> i'm gonna do this one i have not tried this one yet this is from l'oreal this is an infallible 24 hour fresh wear this was one viral this summer everybody wanted it everybody got it and uh, i got it too but i never tried it so i'm gonna try this one without foundation blush and bronzer mm, let's see i'm not sure what i want to do this week maybe i should go with nars let's try the nars one the laguna one i know when i tried it i really did enjoy it so i'm gonna put this one in and then for a blush i'm gonna go with morphe 
yeah i have this trio which i really really love and this is the uh blush trio what does it say the name oh pop of pink so we're gonna go with these two okay now let's see a primer and a um concealer i'm gonna go for primer we're gonna go with this one i know um I haven't tried this one that much and I haven't played with this one that much. So this is from Pretty Vulgar and this is the Toxin Chill Lava Water Foundation Primer. So I never liked the foundation. It was so bad on me. But um, I tried this a couple of times. It was okay-ish. But I'm going to give it another go this week and see, see how it's going to go, you know. And then for concealer, let's do it. Let's go with Tarte. Let's do the, the, the shape tape. And let's choose a primer. Oh, I mean, a setting spray too. From the back here. Okay, let's do this one. Power Up. I don't know where this one is from. I think I got it in one of the the bags i don't even remember and i want to give it a go this week okay now let's do a highlighter and some lipsticks i'm gonna go with the makeup geek one which is in telepathic so i'm gonna get this one for highlighter and then for a lip i'm gonna go with this one for a lip uh gloss and then for lip liner, yeah, let's do Charlotte Tilbury. The Pillow Talk is not showing that much on my lips, but it's okay. I'm going to try it. And now, eyeshadow palette. Oh, 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 oh. What should we choose in here? <clears throat> I know I need something orange for one day. And then... I don't have that many oranges. Maybe I'm just gonna go into my singles and grab something from there. But I am thinking I wanna go with this one, the caramel melange from Zoeva. And then let's do another one. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do Natasha Denona bronze palette. All right, so here's a quick look at the base product. I have the foundation right here, which as you can see, swatch right here. It is very lightweight. Doesn't have a very full coverage, but it's medium coverage. Um, and then I have the shape tape, and then the Laguna. It's gonna be swatch right there, and then the powder is this one right here. Next to it is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Glowgasm, and then I have the highlighter from um, Makeup Geek and Telepathic. Here are the swatches for the blushes from um, um, Morphe, and uh, yeah, pretty much this is what I have for that. Of course, I have the Ultra Cosmetics one and the KKW, which they're already really nice. I can show it to you how they look like. Okay, so here we have this. Um, that it has that yellow tint to it from Ofra. I really love it. And this is the one from KKW in one. So here are the liners that I decided to go with. Here's the first one is the blue one from NYX. And then the next one is a brown from Pure Cosmetics. The next one is a cream from Makeup Geek. The lip liner is the one from Charlotte Tilbury, which is in Pillow Talk. And then the lipstick I decided to go with one from Ulta Beauty, which is really pretty. I really like the color on this one. Mm, this one is called Mischievous. So I would go with these ones for lips. And then, of course, the lip gloss from Jeffree Star. Um, and then the two mascaras, the, these ones are for my brows, the NYX, like I talked about, the Milani, and the lip glow. Now, let me show you how these two eyeshadow palettes look like. Look how beautiful these two are. I love it. Um, this one, I actually received it in a Beautylish Lucky bag last year. 
so happy and grateful for it because it's so good and then i have this one from zoeva which is a melange uh so pretty so so pretty on the eyes i cannot wait to play with and that is it you guys this is pretty much what we have and um yeah i will see you all next time back here to see how everything worked out for us okay have a nice one bye bye